In this video I'm going to show you the text tool that comes with Adobe XD and what are its possibilities. So text tool is located right here or you can use the shortcut command T. You can click on it. You can click anywhere right here and you can type something. So for example, this is a text and you can select it by using controller command A and you can change all of these parameters right here. So we can start from here. So here you can change the font. So I can click right here and type in Lato, for example, press enter, and it will change to that font. Right here we have the size of the font, so you can use 40, for example, and see how that looks like. Right here we have the font weight, so depending on the font you have installed and you want to use for your particular project, you will have these different weights. This font comes with a lot of different weights as you can see right here. So it goes all the way from tin, which as you can see it's really tin and you cannot see it really well unless it's really large and goes all the way down to black italic so you can see how that changes. But let's keep it at regular, so here it is right here. Here you can change the character spacing, so when I increase this, for example, at 20, you can see, and maybe we can use a bit more, so for example, 90, you can see that it increases the space between the characters. Right here we have the line spacing, so for example, you can imagine that I can copy this and paste it down a few times, and when I select everything and increase this distance to, for example, 200, you can see that it increases the distance between each line of text. So let me do Control Z a few times and go back to zero right here as well. And what we have right here is the paragraph spacing. Now, because this is not a paragraph, you can use the command right here. So this is the point text. As you can see, it goes from one single point and it is left aligned. So it goes from left to right. You can align it to center, so when you are typing, it goes from the center out left and right. And finally, we have right align, which is basically the same as a left. You're just typing from right to left. Here we have point text, as I said, so it goes from one single point, but you can convert it to area text right here. And now you can see it's the area text. What are the differences? Well, you can expand this area text, and because it goes from the middle right here, it will expand to the middle and you can see that the text is staying pinned to the center right here. But if I left align it, you can see that it moves to the left. And now this paragraph text is going to go from left to right and fill out this box. Now to quickly fill it up, I can click right here to the plugins. I can use my Lorem Ipsum plugin and you can install it by simply clicking right here. Then you can click right here to the search tool and simply type in Lorem Ipsum. press enter and you can see it right here. You can simply click install, but because I already have it installed, I'm going to simply click on it, fill with placeholder text, and you have to accept this agreement and you can use whichever one you want from right here. So let's use this one and you can click insert text and it will fill this box that you created for your paragraph with this dummy text and you can expand it or you can lower uh, how many lines of text you want. You can select everything if you think uh, it's uh, too little of text. You can select um, everything by hitting Control A, then hit Control C to copy this text, and you can click Enter and hit Control V to paste it how many times you want. And then you can see you can expand this text down, or you can even go to the right and it's going to fill it out evenly as you can see right here. Now let's move on. What we have right here, let's quickly convert it to back to point text. What we have right here is the uppercase, so everything is going to be uppercase. We have everything to be lowercase. We have title case, so every single word is going to have a large letter at the beginning of it and then small letters uh, at the end. We have superscript, which as you can see what it does. We have subscript but this works well with the letters so let me hit t once again and let me type in for example i don't know 120 degrees celsius for example so you can see we can use the subscript there or you can select this and use superscript and it will place it on top or use subscript and it will place it on the bottom if i select everything and click right here 
it will create an underline or you can strike through the text and it will create the strike through through your text below that we have regular stuff so basically we have opacity you can uh, increase it or decrease it we have the blend mode so if i increase the size of this so for example to 200 maybe even more let's use 500 and i can put it right right here if I jump back to the layers panel, you can see it's above this main text. And now you can use the blend mode and see how that looks like. So you can use lighten, for example, you can use overlay and just play around and see what it works best. So as you can see exclusion, you can see the see through effect on this text through and you can see the background text even better. Below that we have the regular stuff. So fill color, you can click right here and let me change this back to normal. You can change the fill color right here. You can enter the hex code. So basically the same for the shape layers as you saw in previous videos. You have the border color and you can, let me quickly hide this right here. You can see that now we just have this border color and you can change it separately so it's now red. And same as before, you can increase or decrease the size of that border. So let's use 20 for example, and you can see how that looks like. If I go all the way down, we have the same settings as for the shapes because you can even convert this to pots. So let me change this back to fill color, remove the stroke, go to somewhere around here. And you can see you can add shadow and background blur. So same as with the shape layers, but right here you can right click on it. And right here we have some of these options, but for example, you can choose pot and convert to pot. And now you have basically converted this uh, to shape layer and you can further change it right here, or you can simply double click right here and you can delete these dots or you can play around with them if you want to create custom shapes from your text. So that's basically it for the text tool. And we are going to quickly cover our ports in the next video. So I'll see you there.